Oh, hey. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, can I sit here? Well, I guess we'll start off with the beginning of your life. Yeah, yes. Well, I was born on the 1st of May in 1852 at Pelta de Aragon, Spain. Oh, okay. And as a young kid, uh, what were your passions? As a boy, I was apprenticed to a barber and then a cobbler, but I wouldn't say they were my passions. Well, what were your true passions? Well, I always wanted to be an artist, and I am an artist. But for that time, you did things that were a little bit more, what you say, reliable. How was your relationship with your father? My father wanted me to pursue the study of medicine, I did, and I was under his thumb, but I had uh, some artistic work I had published for myself and for a book he never published. He knew I was an intelligent boy, so he pushed me to pursue medicine. When I was 16 years old, he took me to a graveyard to study bones. He thought that I liked to draw the bones, and I did. What are some of your earlier studies? I published an historical and microbiological study. At the time, I was inspired by the method of Golgi. These studies had very little traction. What was one of your first big steps in your research in medicine? In 1873, I was 21 years old when I graduated medical school after five years of schooling. Then I was qualified to study and practice medicine. Can I ask you a personal question? What was the most threatening experience in your field? If you have to know, I was serving in the army during the 10-year war in 1874. What was your most successful portion of your career? Yes, in the period of 1887 to 1903, I was researching the Neuron Doctrine, and I found favor in the theory. But at the time, it was against more commonly accepted principles of the Recular Theory. From 1903 to 1934, I was researching the theme of the traumatic degeneration and regeneration of the nervous system. My work was summarized on a book Degeneration and Regeneration. I published my most important paper during this time on the structure of retina and the optic center of the inver- Well, I guess that's all the time we have. Thank you for coming after this interview. My pleasure.